Everything's going great. We're driving on the side of a mountain, on a gravel road. Hey, we're back. I'm Hannah. And I'm Jeremy. We are the Savory Suitcase. Yeah. So we have two more days left on our trip. Yeah. Today we are spending the day in Rocky Mountain National Park, and then tomorrow we are going to do an epic drive up to Mount Evans. Well, he's going to do the driving. Mm. I'm going to do the looking. <laughs> got to get my driving gloves on. Yep. <laughs> Actually, I got to get them on today too. Yep. I got some epic driving to do today. The reservations out, you do have to make a reservation. Um, especially for the Bear Lake area, as popular as that area is, uh, prior to 5 a.m. you can get in um, without a reservation or you still need yep. a reservation. So if you show up before 5 a.m., you can get into Bear Lake at 5 a.m. We have really. a reservation from 1 to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. So we were able to come in and we got here at about 1.30. We drove through Estes Park on the way. Saw um, the Stanley Hotel briefly, just yeah. kind of on the way, waved, waved to, uh, you know, Jack Mr. Nicholson. Johnny. Yeah, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> waved to him on the way by. So we are actually going to go and start our first drive up to Fall River Ridge Road. Something like that. So we'll, we'll put the correct title of the road here. I'm so sure look that's right here. <laughs> so it's supposed to be, this is like the original highway um, in, this, in this park. Uh, so it's the original highway. It, it's like a 25, I believe it's a 25 degree grade. Um, it is a single lane, 15 miles an hour, uh, 11 miles. No guardrails. Yeah, so it's just one lane, gravel. The park ranger mm -hmm. that we talked to on the way in said that it was her favorite road to yeah. drive on. Uh, so we, it's primitive. we decided. You know, it's, it's, she said this, you know, if you're able to, if the visibility is nice and there aren't other vehicles directly in front of you kicking up a lot of dirt from the gravel to roll your windows down and enjoy the sounds of the birds and the nature yeah. and to just enjoy. And we did read online that sometimes the cars back in the old days actually had to go uh, up in reverse, reverse yeah. because of the they weren't powerful enough. engines and the way yeah. that the gas system used to work. The fuel fed systems. Yeah. It, wild. Yeah. Super wild. So we might try that. We'll just go in reverse. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. So we, we, we have an all wheel drive SUV that we rented. So we'll, uh, we'll blur out that license plate. It's not my car. I don't mm -hmm. care. Whatever. We're from Illinois. Um, <laughs> We've That's what we tell people we tell when we people. make when I make gaffes in traffic. Ah, it's fine. We're from Illinois. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Let's check yeah. this out. I'm let's, anxious. Let's get started. Let's beat the weird weather. It's coming. See Is that rare? Do we know? Is it rare to see that? Oh, no, no. not anymore. No. I mean, you see more yeah. female than male. I, I still think yeah. it's middle of the day. Yeah. Middle not of the that day. common. This is rare not this common. time of day. Yeah. Becoming more common.
wow, wow, wow. Everything's going great. We're driving on the side of a mountain, on a gravel road. Just don't look down. I'm literally tearing up. Ten years ago, when we first got married, you were afraid of heights. <laughs> Last night you were doing all the convincing. Are you really okay? <laughs> You're really okay, right? It's just so beautiful. Sure. <laughs> You're really okay, right? <laughs> because of one way, baby. <laughs> doing a great job driving <sighs> even though it's a lot of heights a little treacherous it's starting to drizzle a little bit it is. so we should probably get going oh god <laughs> oh yeah I just gotta drop yeah so let's go let's go
Clover, that moves too big. So on our way out of the park yesterday, we saw a lot of moose. I think six mm -hmm. total? Four? Mm -mm. I think it was... There was like four. Well, there was a four. group of it was two, and then there was a group of four, and then there was a separate group of two. So I think it was a total of six, because two okay. of those four were the first two. Oh, they joined them. Yeah. So and I think they those so were all female and babies. Except for the first one we saw. So we actually did see seven in total. Yeah. Yeah. The first one was a bull male. Yeah. It was crazy. And I it think was it's very cool. The I bull think, male apparently was very rare to see. There's only a few of them in the park. I think it's rare to see moose in general because it wasn't even on the like wildlife list that they had like on their little pamphlet. So yeah. The park yeah. ranger was not thrilled with everybody like pulling off and like causing traffic disruptions. Hey but... man, I see a moose, I'm stopping. <laughs> Fight me. There were definitely people who were getting out of the car and getting uh, really people close. Were being, people were being irresponsible. Yes. Um, whether it was a lack of understanding of what could happen if you get too close to a moose, whether, you know, or wildlife in general, um, I rather refuse to believe that it's a lack of knowledge and more of just a i want to get that shot yeah. when we first stumbled across the bull the bull male that was in the middle of a lake which we'll put that photo here we got some video but he was pretty far out so he's kind of small um but you can tell you can see the you know the <whistles> bullwinkle um <laughs> you can definitely tell but so when we were talking to the volunteer ranger, she was actually there as part of the, I forget what she called them. The Ram Patrol. She called it something. It was the, rhymy and cute. Yeah, I forget. The big, the oh, Ram I, Brigade or something yeah. like that. But basically the, the, the big horn sheep that come down from the mountain, then cross that particular part of the road and go down into that muddy water. They're there. They go down there for the minerals and the stuff that they get out of the, out of the mud. Um, well, they were there because in that particular part of the day is when they would come down the mountain and they're, they're there to facilitate them crossing the road safely. Yeah. Um, well, they weren't going to cross the road because the moose yeah. was there they're having, like, oh, we're gonna wait. having a, uh, you know, a splash pad day in the, in the water. So now the moose, you know, she said is not, you know, is not a danger to, to them. It's, it's not a threat, but they might not, but they don't that. care. Yeah. She said they don't care. Um, they're not going to hang around to find out. Yeah. So, Anyway, that's why she was there. But so she was giving us some information. It was pretty interesting, um, you know, that there's very, very few males, um, but that the the female and then the baby population is slowly starting to grow. And over the last couple of years, they've started noticing more and more. And there was some really cute baby footage. And Hannah caught some baby frolicking yeah. across the field footage of the baby running with the mom. And we left the park. We came to our final hotel for the evening. Is our last day today. Our last hotel here um, is literally surrounded by really, really tall mountains. We're in this little valley um, here in Georgetown, just outside of Idaho Springs. There's a brand new brewery that's just on the other side of our hotel on this really beautiful lake. There's a lot of lodges and, and cabins on the other side of the lake. Really gorgeous area. They were nice enough to serve us dinner last night at the yes, brewery. Yes, and it was very, very busy. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure. Maybe somebody can tell us down in the comments what's happening with Colorado. Um, correct us if we're wrong. It feels like y'all roll the sidewalks up at sidewalks up at eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, and like everything, oh, not everything. I'll take it back. Seventy-five mm, percent of what we've noticed for food closes at eight o'clock. Yeah. The brewery was our was our only option within driving distance yeah. before it hit eight o'clock. So we walked over there. They were really nice. We got a good cauliflower pizza. So it was relatively on our diet for the first time in a couple of days. Um, and, uh, you know, so it was beautiful, great views. And so we'll show you some of that footage. We put the drone up for the first time since we were here because finally in unrestricted airspace. Yeah. Um, so we'll put that footage here for you too. But Georgetown, beautiful lake. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head into Idaho Springs, find another coffee shop, little shopping, Mount Evans on the way. Yep, so stay tuned for that. You guys will see it next week. And that'll be the last and then vlog from Colorado. Sayonara from the uh, conspiracy theory filled Denver International yep. Airport. So remember to like and subscribe and leave us a comment if you... Uh, Tell us if you know anything about this eight o'clock food scene shutdown, okay? <laughs> I or, need to know more. Or if you've been to Colorado, or if you're going to come now. Or if you live here. Tell us what this is all about.
All right. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. Bye, y'all.